EDP-445 has not learned a damn thing and is still creeping on miners, but let's be honest here, is this really a surprise? After shattering his reputation, getting his channel terminated, after a sting op where he was exposed for trying to solicit sex from someone who he thought was a 13-year-old girl, he has shown no remorse whatsoever. He has never even really addressed the whole situation besides uploading a TikTok of him eating a cupcake. And even then, him embracing the meme sends the signal that he's not sorry whatsoever. And now a real girl has come out and said that EDP tried to groom her when she was 17. She apparently just turned 18 recently. And... I'll be honest, I'm kind of shocked. I figured 17 was a little too old for EDP, but maybe he's trying to broaden his horizons. She did an interview with a channel called Master at Work, which I'll link in the description, and in said interview, texts between her and EDP were shown, and some of them are really fucking creepy like this. I can't believe this. I have the sexiest potential girlfriend ever. Don't let anyone ever tell you you aren't beautiful. Not even me. You deserve the best. And trust me, if I was in in Louisiana, I would be beating down your door, smothering you with flowers and hugs. You better prepare yourself because I'm showing you off to the entire world. That video you posted in the group chat when you and the other guy first added me, can you resend it? It's really hot. I promise not to share it with anyone. There's also other ones where he tells her, oh, I'm jacking off, or I just jacked off, and just like the decoy, he sends her a picture of his shit in the toilet. I will never be able to wrap my head around that. I guess he just immediately assumes that every underage girl he's texting has a scat fetish or something and want to see a picture of his unhealthy looking turds in the toilet. Anyways, let me get that image out of my head. The bottom line is, this man does not give a shit whatsoever. If him losing his channel of over 2 million subscribers and having his reputation be utterly destroyed as a result of him hoping to meet up with a 13 year old girl to have sex with her doesn't change anything, then nothing will. So long as he has the ability to continue to creep on minors, that is what he will keep doing. Doing. EDP met this girl on Instagram. What the fuck is he doing on Instagram? You would think every social media website at this point would immediately ban this guy because he is a known predator, he is still a threat to minors, but nope, Instagram is completely okay with having a known predator on their platform, and he is very clearly using their platform to find more underage girls to groom. Instagram, unfortunately, is not the only mainstream social media platform he's allowed to continue to fester on. He also apparently has a very very huge TikTok profile. And TikTok is like heaven to sick individuals like EDP. Because what is the demographic that predominantly uses TikTok? Children. I really don't understand why EDP is allowed to remain on these platforms. It does not get any more clear cut. In that Sting Op video, he admitted that he sent all of those disgusting texts to someone who he thought was a 13 year old girl. And this girl that just recently came forward is proof that EDP is still doing this shit. He has not learned his lesson, and will probably never learn his lesson, so why the fuck is he still on these platforms? Who knows how many minors he's been DMing, and god forbid someday it may get to a point where a minor tells him where they live, he goes over to where they live, and they have sex. If it ever gets to that point, Partial blame will be on TikTok and Instagram's part because they were A-OK -okay with having a known predator fester on their platforms when he was clearly using their platforms to seek out more minors to creep on. That decoy he was speaking to and was planning on meeting could have very well have been a real 13-year-old girl. Is a person who tried to meet up with a 13-year-old girl to have sex with her and display zero shame over the incident really somebody you want on your platform that is predominantly made up of minors? Minors. If he didn't stop after that sting up, he is never going to fucking stop. And so long as he has continued to be allowed to have a platform on mainstream social media, he will continue to seek out minors to groom. EDP445 is a very sick man who has no desire whatsoever to get help. The only time he displayed any desire to get help was during that sting up 
where he said, Don't call the police, I promise I'll get help. Which, obviously, wasn't a genuine display of wanting to get help. He just wanted to get out of, you know, getting in trouble. So long as that lack of desire to get help remains, he'll forever be a threat to minors. But I do have some sliver of good news. According to that girl from the interview, EDP apparently has kidney failure and is struggling to get a transplant. So there may be a chance he won't be around for much longer, and if that is the case, good fucking riddance. You can bitch at me all you want for being harsh for saying that, but that will just fall on deaf ears because I don't give a shit about people like this. He got caught trying to solicit sex from someone who he thought was a 13 year old girl, and to this day he displays zero shame over that, and is still trying to prey on minors. So if he were to croak, why should I feel bad? That would be karma in action, one less piece of shit in this world, and one less threat to minors. So I see that as entirely a good thing. That's all I have to say. Bye-bye.